Hi everyone! Today I'm going to take you through a quick workout for if you are suffering with any lower back pain. Now, quick disclaimer, if you are suffering with any pain that feels more like your spine, so it's more bone, more skeletal, please contact your doctor before taking on any exercise. This workout is going to be for those people who are suffering more muscular within their lower back. So if you are, hopefully this is a great workout for you just to get the body moving, make sure that we're not being stagnant within our bodies and we're not getting those muscles seizing up. It's going to be a nice gentle one, nothing too extreme. So we'll get started. I'd like you to come onto all fours. Make sure that your knees are underneath your hips, your hands are underneath your shoulders. Just make sure that your feet are flat. Try not to tuck your toes under. Feet are flat. We're going to start with a few cat cows here. At any point today, if this does get too much, please just stop, take a stretch. You can come back to this when you're feeling better. I know the first few times that I did this, when I did hurt my back, um, just feeling some strain in my lower back, it did feel a bit uncomfortable to start with. So if that is how you're feeling, just take it easy. Do a couple of these exercises or come back to it tomorrow when you're feeling a little bit better, whatever it is, but just don't push through any sort of pain. So like I say, starting with a few cat cows. So take a big deep breath in. You're gonna arch through your spine. And then exhale, start to slowly round through the back again. Take it easy. Inhale, open. And then exhale round. Hopefully you feel a nice stretch in the area that's causing you any sort of pain. Last one, inhale. And then exhale round. And then coming into a neutral position. From here I want you to flex your left foot. You're just going to send your left foot back behind you. Extend the leg. And then really slowly bend it back in again. So you just extend that leg out and exhale, pull it back in. Keep your ribs nice and high. Try not to dump into your ribs because then you are going into your lower back. Keep your ribs lifted, pull your belly button in, protect your lower back here. Keep your hips square. Just extend, squeeze to so squeezing into the glutes and really slowly bringing it back in. You may feel that your lower back pain is more on one side than the other. Doing these exercises will just help you figure out where that pain is coming from, what your body can do right now, what it can't do. But like I say, just take it easy. This is more just to get your body moving, keeping those muscles nice and active. Just two more here, keep those ribs lifted. On this last one, just hold the leg extended. How to open up your right hand. So lift your right hand up, just hold it here, pull your belly button up. Make sure you're not dumping into that lower back. Just hold it here. If this feels good, you can stay here or you can come with me. You're gonna bring your elbow into your knee, curve through your spine again, take it easy and then extend everything out long. Soft bend through your left elbow and extend yeah there you go you got it just two more here taking it nice and easy last one and then place it down good work we're going to do the same thing on the right side so flex through your right foot you're going to send your right foot back behind you extend the leg and then exhale put it back in inhale to extend Exhale, pull it in. Keeping your hips nice and square. Squeezing that glutes. Your glutes are connected into your lower back. So keeping the glutes nice and strong can help relieve any pain, any tension within the lower back. You got it, just three more here. And bring it in, keep those ribs up. For two. You got it, last one, hold that leg out. If that feels good, you can extend your left arm long, hold, pull your belly button in. From here, you're gonna bring your elbow into your knee, curl through the spine, and then extend everything long. 
Again, take this at your own pace. If you only curl up slightly, that is absolutely fine. Go to where feels best in your body today. Just three more. And extend, find that length and space for two. Last one. And then place that knee down, place your hand down, open your knees nice and wide, bring your toes together and then sit yourself back into a child's pose. This one should feel really nice on your spine. Make sure that you're pushing your glutes down into your heels, walk your hands further forward, find that length and space all the way through your spine. Relax your lower back down and then shifting your weight forward. From here, we're gonna go into a plank position. We're not gonna hold it for very long because I know that this one can feel slightly painful, but again, we're keeping the, the body moving. So, stepping back into a full plank position, just hold it here, pull your belly button up, make sure your body's in one long line. If this is too much, you can drop your knees down, untuck the toes, just hold it here. We're only holding for five more seconds. You got it, four, three, two one then drop the knees down again sit yourself back into a child's pose release that lower back from here slowly coming forward you're going to come down to lay on your front bring your forearms down from here you're just really slowly going to push your back up lift your chest coming into your cobra position this one may feel slightly uncomfortable if it does sit back into a child's pose just stretch it out or oh, this one might feel really nice feeling that chest opening and then release it down again sit yourself back into another child's pose i don't know about you but i find that being in a child's pose does help relieve any tension within the lower back which is why I've added quite a few into this series. And then from here, you're gonna come down to lay on your back. So coming all the way down, really slowly take your time and then hug your knees in. Really hug them in towards your chest. And then you can rock from side to side, just massaging out the lower back. and then place your feet down into the mat. Take your time here, make sure that your feet are parallel hip distance apart. Really slowly, you're gonna bring your knees over to the left to keep your feet planted down. You're just windscreen wiper motion with the knees from left all the way over to the right. If it feels good, you can bring your feet all the way down or your knees all the way down, should I say, all the way to the floor, then coming up and coming all the way over to the other side. Just going to where it feels comfortable in your body. And last one. And release, extend your legs out long this time. I want you to hug your right knee in towards your chest. Just hold it here, stretching that left leg out as long as you can. Relaxing the lower back down into the mat. And release, hug that right knee in. Feeling that stretch down your lower back and release last thing here we're going to bring your feet back parallel hip distance apart hands down by your side really plug your triceps down into the mat chest is nice and open we're going to go into our shoulder bridge this one can feel slightly uncomfortable so just go to where it feels best within your body you're going to tuck your pelvis under like an ice cream scoop and then you're really slowly going to lift the hips up squeeze the glutes as you lift and then really slowly bone by bone rolling the spine all the way down two more like this 
rolling the hips up so your lower back should come off then your mid back coming up to your upper back hold really push all the way through your heels here you should be able to wiggle your toes close that gap between your ribs and your hips so try not to flow through the ribs closing the gap tuck your ribs in and then really slowly rolling the spine all the way down last one you're doing so well guys tuck the pelvis under push the hips up hold squeeze the glutes can you lift the hips slightly higher squeeze the glutes just hold for five four three two one and then really slowly rolling the spine all the way down good work guys hug the knees in again just rock from side to side and release we'll just finish with a quick stretch so bringing your right heel over your left thigh hug that knee in towards you coming into your figure full stretch just stretching out the glutes as i said earlier the glutes are connected into the lower back so we want to make sure that they are really nice and strong but also lengthening them out where we can and then switching sides so that your left heel is coming over your right thigh hugging your right leg in towards you you can rock from side to side if that feels good and then release again last time hug the knees in and i want you to rock and roll your spine up to seated and then finishing in the middle of your mats that is your super quick lower back workout all done hopefully you can feel a little bit of relief after that one it's a really good one to just do every single day as i said just to keep your back and your whole body nice and mobile if you did enjoy this leave me a comment down below let me know which was the best exercise for your back or if there is any other exercises that you do for your back that i can then share with everybody else if you did enjoy this don't forget to subscribe so that we can work out together again and i can't wait to see you next time bye guys